You may have never heard of glyphosate, but you may have some in your garage, basement, or backyard shed. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in many herbicides or weed killers. Since its invention in 1974, the chemical has been used in hundreds of commercial and industrial products, and the development of more herbicide-tolerant crops has resulted in a massive increase in the use of glyphosates on the nation's farms. This is yet another reason to eat organic, as the foods we eat is usually exposed to glyphosate on the farm. The increased use of glyphosate has resulted in several complex and distressing health conditions that are increasingly attributed to this chemical. Stay tuned as we highlight the top 10 side effects of glyphosate and introduce the Biomedic, a glyphosate cleanse product. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos. And that said, let's begin the countdown. Number 10. Damages on the Nervous System The wheat killer Roundup can damage nerves due to one of its ingredients, glyphosate. Roundup is one of the most frequently used garden products and weed killers globally. There's evidence to suggest that Roundup could cause nerve damage. One report published by Internal Medicine determined that exposure to glyphosate could cause vasculitis in the nervous system and other organs. Vasculitis affects the blood vessels of the body and can cause a reduction in blood flow, impairing the nervous system and other affected regions. It's important to know that the intensity and duration of exposure to glyphosate through Roundup or other products could play a significant role in the amount of nerve damage. Number 9. Gastric Disease one mechanism by which glyphosate might influence human health involves changes in gut microbiome composition. Although glyphosate has been considered largely non-toxic to humans, given that it cannot affect the metabolic pathway of mammalian cells, recent laboratory and animal studies have shown both the potential direct toxicity of glyphosate and its indirect detrimental effects on the gut microbiome. The Shikimane Pathway Enzymes, EPSPS, inhibited by glyphosate, is found in all plants and bacteria and is involved in amino acids, hormone, and vitamin synthesis. While commensal bacteria are more sensitive to glyphosate, opportunistic pathogens such as Escherichia coli and Staphylococcus aureus had developed mutations that minimizes its harmful effect. Although the direct toxicity of glyphosate has been considered when setting acceptable daily intake levels, its subtle effects on the gut microbiome have not which means glyphosate's influence on health may have been underestimated. For instance, grain and legume-based products can contain glyphosate residues, which can be over the maximum limit currently set for cereal crops. Number 8. Kidney Damage According to scientists, kidney damage was observed to occur following the regular use of Roundup in a group of people in Sri Lanka who were growing rice. The press release of the American Association for the Advancement of Science stated that Sarath Guna Talek and Shana Jayasumana, both scientists from Sri Lanka, had faced death threats and claims of research misconduct while working to determine the cause of a kidney disease epidemic that has claimed tens of thousands of lives in their home country of Sri Lanka and around the world. On social media, the opinion of the people ranged between defending the two scientists and requesting more solid evidence concerning the casual relationship between glyphosate and chronic kidney disease. In 2019, Sarath Gunatalek and Shana Jazasumana received the award for scientific freedom and responsibility. Kidney disease was first reported in Sri Lanka workers who had been using Roundup in 1990 when several hundred of individuals were diagnosed with kidney failure. Even though none had the common trigger factors or diabetes or high blood pressure, the majority of the people who experienced kidney failures were male farmers between the ages of 30 and 60. Number 7. Liver Damage a recent medical study conducted by the University of California's San Diego School of Medicine revealed that a significant number of the animal models exposed to glyphosate regularly develop non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In another research that was published in the Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology, a team of scientists led by Paul J. Mills, Ph.D., professor and chief in the Department of Family Medicine and Public Health at UC San Diego School of Medicine, Glyphosate excretion in the urine samples of two patient groups, one diagnosed with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and the other without the condition, were examined. The results were very relevant, as regardless of age, body mass index, or race, the level of glyphosate residue was significantly higher in patients with a damaged liver than in healthy individuals. Therefore, a casual relation between glyphosate exposure and liver damage may exist, as the amount of glyphosate we ingest with our food has increased considerably over the past 25 years. Number 6. Endocrine Disruption, Fertility, and Reproductive Concerns in this context, glyphosate might act as an endocrine disruptor, affecting the male reproductive system because it can lead to alterations in aromatase activity and expression 8, estrogen-regulated genes and testosterone levels. 
Moreover, Roundup, the commercial formulation of glyphosate, disrupts spermatogenesis and causes loss of fertility, reinforcing its toxicity to testicular cells. Also, in the MA10 Leydig tumor cell line, Roundup inhibits steroidogenesis by disrupting the expression of the star proteins. In addition, it's been shown that glyphosate Roundup exposure during pregnancy and lactation did not induce maternal toxicity in Wistar rats, but induced adverse reproductive effects in male offspring rats, including decreased daily sperm production during adulthood, increased percentage of abnormal sperm, and decreased testosterone serum level at puberty. Number 5. Non-Hodgkin's Lymphoma the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, says there's no evidence that glyphosate causes cancer in humans. The European Food Safety Authority agrees. However, the World Health Organization's WHO International Agency for Research on Cancer stated in 2015 that glyphosate is probably carcinogenic to humans. CNN reported that hundreds of patients with non-Hodgkin lymphoma started suing the manufacturers of glyphosate herbicides after WHO made its announcement. In 2019, researchers at the University of Washington concluded that using glyphosate increases the risk of non-Hodgkin lymphoma by 41%. In the study published in Mutation Research, researchers wrote that an analysis of human epidemiology studies suggests a compelling link between exposures to glyphosate-based herbicides and increased risk for non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Number 4. May Cause Pediatric Brain Cancer a study published by the Environmental Health Perspectives Journal found children had a significantly higher risk of developing brain cancer when a parent was exposed to herbicides. The effect of exposure could even be as far-reaching as two years before their children were born. Symptoms of pediatric brain cancer include feeling pressure in the head, frequent or severe headaches, sudden vision problems, hearing problems, trouble eating, and vomiting. Number 3. May Cause Skin Tumors Skin isn't something we often think about, but it's the largest organ of the body, and it's also extremely important to our health. When our skin is exposed to dangerous chemicals, it can cause serious damage. According to the National Pesticide Information Center, getting Roundup on your skin may result in several adverse side effects. Studies have shown that glyphosate on the skin can affect the cell shape, impair skin elasticity, cause loss of protective function, and even increase vulnerability to disease. Loss of control over cell function can, in turn, contribute to cancer risk. However, getting Roundup on your skin may be far worse than this since evidence indicates that the pesticide's contents are more toxic than glyphosate alone. Number 2. May Cause Multiple Myeloma While the etiology and pathogenesis of MM are still under investigation, recent studies have shown an elevated risk of MM with herbicide use. For example, one case control study collected extensive information, including occupational history from 573 persons with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma and developed a job exposure matrix for pesticide exposure. They found that individuals who used pesticides and fungicides regularly are one and a half times more likely to develop multiple myeloma than the general population and are eight times more likely to have the associated mortality. Number one, may cause ASD in children. Maternal exposure to high levels of the herbicide glyphosate may increase the risk for autism spectrum disorder, ASD, in offspring. However, the underlying mechanisms remain largely unknown. Epidemiological studies suggest glyphosate exposure during pregnancy and lactation caused ASD-like behavioral abnormalities and abnormal gut microbiota composition in murine male offspring. In addition, a recent study using pure glyphosate showed that maternal exposure to glyphosate during pregnancy caused neurobehavioral alterations like the development of reflexes, motor activity, and cognitive function. Taken together, it's likely that maternal exposure to a high dose of glyphosate without ingredients could cause behavioral abnormalities such as ASD-like behaviors in offspring. Importantly, we know that rodent data do not necessarily translate to humans. Further research is needed to identify the molecular mechanisms of maternal glyphosate exposure in ASD etiology. We must admit, these are very scary side effects, but don't worry, there's a product for glyphosate cleanse, and yes, we're talking about the Biomedic. Give your body the superior gut health it deserves with this core Purium product, an exclusive and proprietary formula filled with all natural ingredients. The Detox Project awarded it a gold seal as a glyphosate detox solution. Biomedic can help flush harmful toxins, support good bacteria, and protect your microbiome from GMO damage. The product may help detoxify glyphosate, improve digestion, boost mood and immunity, and reduce C-reactive protein, CRP. And those are the top 10 side effects of glyphosate. We hope you enjoyed it. And just be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our awesome content. And please give us a like and share the video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our new uploads. 
We value your feedback, so feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next video.